Good afternoon and welcome. So we are at week six of music appreciation. Uh, week six is going to focus on the music of the 20th century, um, modern music, and of course, American music. And when I talk about American music in this course, it's going to be uh, blues and jazz for the most part. Now, we're in the home stretch, you know, we have the last week, so make sure you want to um, set yourself up for success. Make sure, you know, make sure the concert project is, is, is completed and submitted. Um, make sure you give yourself enough time for this week to submit everything. And then we'll have the final exam is going to be due um, towards the, the last day of this class as well. Okay. So I had the overview and learning objectives. They're there for you folks to, to, to read to so forth. We have a couple chapters. We have uh, chapter 24 to 31. Now it looks like you have eight chapters. I'm like, oh my God, it's a lot of reading. It's actually not. A lot of these chapters are only like one or two pages. Uh, make sure you go through it all uh, and then make sure you do the listening. Especially you want to do the listening between chapters 24, 25, and 26. Okay. Um, the listening, let's go, let's go down. It's, the listening is going to be right here. Okay. And it's going to have all the listening that's based in the reading. Okay. Some of the listening, some of the pieces by Stravinsky, some of the pieces by Schoenberg are going to be more dissonant. And you might, you might be like, oh my God, what is this? It's kind of It's more dissonant. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, it, it, with composers are going in new directions and we're not going to have like this lush harmony uh, with a lot of this music. So you want to have an open mind with modern music. Okay, there's reasons why they're doing this. And, you know, when we go do, do the reading and do some of the discussions, we're going to talk about some of those reasons why they're writing more dissonant music and maybe more abstract music. So I have the listing here. Um, it's going to give uh, all the jazz examples and some listening examples. Ed Puzzles. We have four Ed Puzzles this week, okay? The first one is an overview of the modernism in uh, music for the 20th century. The second one is uh, Stravinsky. Stravinsky is a very, very important composer in the early 20th century, a, a biography about him. And uh, we have a biography about Scott Joplin, okay? He's a pivotal composer uh, in um, the early jazz kind of era, and he, wrote, he uh, focused on writing a music called Ragtime, okay? And then I also put a, a one in a biography about George Gershwin. Okay. Gershwin, he's a, a pivotal composer. He's an important composer because he he's kind of he's on the fence between classical and jazz, and he kind of he um and he kind of uh, exists in both worlds. And his music's really really wonderful. So it's something that, that we I want you guys to be able to share share with you. Okay, so we have two discussions this week. We have a discussion on uh, the Rite of Spring again by Tchaikovsky. It's a ballet. And we also have a discussion on the unanswered question, okay? And it's a piece by Charles Ives. Well, two writing assignments, one's on the origin of jazz and one's on some uh, new piano music in the modern era. And then that's gonna be it. That's gonna wrap up week six. Um, I have, I talked about the final exam in, in another video. Uh, if you do have any questions, reach out to me, and it's it's been a pleasure teaching you guys and uh, hearing your uh, interpretations of the, of the music and learning more about you as well. So thank you.